Realme X2 came with ColorOS and it took Realme a long while to bring the in-depth test app that could allow us to unlock bootloader and then flash custom recovery and custom ROMs. The problem then was that the custom ROMs were based on ColorOS 6.1 vendor. There came Remy UI soon after. But then it took a long while before Remy could allow us to use Ruth and fingerprint at the same time without breaking the fingerprint function. Thankfully, after that, developers went to work and then moved all the custom ROMs to base on Android 10. And in doing so, they also created custom vendor. Today, let me show you how to flash custom ROMs that use custom vendor. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. We are so excited to have you back here. And if this is your first time of watching a video, please just click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to get notification whenever we do a new video like this. So today I'm going to be talking about how to flash custom ROMs that use custom vendor. But before I go into that, let me talk a little bit about stock vendor because I've actually done a video how to flash Android 10 based custom ROM. So you can see it in the cats. They are for stock vendor like this one you're seeing on the screen. The problem with stock Remy UI vendor is that it has encryption. Now, what encryption means is that once you turn on your phone and set it up, the data will be encrypted which is a very good thing security wise. But if you're going to be the person that is flashing custom ROMs over and over, it's really going to be problematic. First of all, whenever you want to boot into recovery, you get to put your lock screen pin also, which sometimes could be frustrating. And then the problem with that also is that when you want to restore back your TWRP backup, the data partition will not restore because it's encrypted. Uh, so, but anyway, the first thing you need to do before we go further is how to back up. You click on that backup. You select the stick, the partition that you want to back up. Sometimes you could just pick this few one system data vendor. But if you have not backed up all your partition before, please make sure you select all the partition, maybe minus the recovery, and then you just back it up. Give it a name that you will remember. I cannot emphasize this enough. A full backup like this saved me after I bricked my phone. I was able to restore my phone back. So please make this full backup. Give it a name that is easy to remember. And after you back it up, copy it to your system, PC, drive, whatever it is, and keep it safe there. And once you've done that, let's go in how to flash ROMs that use custom vendor. I'm going to show you this with two ROMs, starting with Covers OS. So the first thing there is you go to wipe after you go into the recovery. You go to wipe and then you hit uh, advanced and then you select Davic, even the vendor. You're going to wipe the vendor, Davic catch a system data vendor, and then you wipe it. Now, this is the first step because the ROM you're about to flash has custom vendor. That's the reason why you're wiping vendor. So after wiping, the, the next thing is that you go to install. So you tap install, you go to where the ROM is, this is Covos, and then you hit that and then flash. Now, mind you that this Covos OS already contains gaps. So you are not going to flash gaps. As you can see, it's now flashing custom vendor. The second example I'm going to give you is the one that has, uh, that will flash gaps in. So once you're done here, you go back to uh, the home page, go back to wipe. Now this time around, you're going to select format data type yes to format data so once the data is done formatting then you can go back now there's this one that is optional you can wipe davi catch and catch it's optional if you want you can leave it so after that you reboot your system and if you follow the steps carefully like this your system will boot up and the rom will just start and you will start using the ROM with custom vendor uh, inside it. So right now we're going to go to the second part where we're going to flash another one that requires us to flash gaps. The same procedures, you wipe Davi catch catch system data vendor, you wipe it, the same procedure. 
and then after you've wiped it you go back and then now you go to install this time around i'm going to use zen os and then i'm going to add another zip i'm going to add open gaps nano you see now i've added it too you can do that in teeth of the rp if you want and then you flash so after flashing first of all it will flash the rom as you can see now it is flashing the vendor but because i selected two zip together it also immediately start flashing the gaps if you want you can do it like that if you want you can go back and select uh, gaps and flash so you can see this from now does not have gaps included so i'm flashing open gaps for it to you know work well now after that the same procedure we're going to go back to wipe and uh, format data and type yes so after that <laughs> you type yes you just you know wipe uh, format the data right now and as you can see i'm not going to wipe the delphi catch after formatting data i will just go straight and reboot the system and the system will just come up so this is very very important if you follow these steps very well you won't even have any problem when it comes to registering your fingerprint as you can see the fingerprint is registering very very fine so make sure you follow this instruction strictly uh, to not run into any problem if you're flashing a rom that has custom vendor and there are advantages for it now the first one here is that your flashing your rom you have your lock screen and then your phone is not encrypted by default uh, that's called forced encryption uh, there's no need to force people to encrypt their data even when they don't want to so at least you have the option to either encrypt or not now you still use your secure lock screen and then your phone is not encrypted the same thing applies in covers the first one we flashed you see it now have to fingerprint set up the phone is still not encrypted now you may be asked for it <laughs> asking, is that not a security flaw uh if you're going to be the person flashing different different custom rom it is an advantage because when you go into recovery you don't have to decrypt data every time and encrypt data every time you restart the phone so that means if you go into recovery there will not be annoying prop to put in password to decrypt data before you can assess your recovery also if you do a full data backup on twrp and with custom vendor you will restore it fully without any problem if you do that with a stock vendor with uh, encrypted data the backup will break during uh, data partition restore and could cause you a lot of problem so that's the advantage of having custom vendor so i'll see you in the next one peace yeah.